The pandemic has nearly emptied San Francisco's Chinatown, and a wave of anti-Asian sentiment only made things worse. But KPIX 5's Devin Feely reports an ancient tradition could provide a glimpse into the neighborhood's future. If you walk the streets of San Francisco's Chinatown today, you will notice a riot of colors on quiet, largely empty streets. It's like a sparkling sequins dress at a party with no guests. There was real hope that this new year might bring relief and recovery and rebirth, and it still might, but it hasn't yet. So in the meantime, Chinatown is searching its roots and its reflection in the mirror. The art of line dance is based off of martial arts. Two martial artists that were brave and they chose them to come out of the village to scare away a monster that would come back every year. So they decided to build this costume to try to scare it away. The costume and a cacophony of kitchen instruments, clanging pots and pans, the precursor of today's cymbals and drums, were meant to spook the monster, prevent it from trailing us into a new year. And after the year that we've had, keeping the demons of disease and division and frankly despair at bay would be a tall order indeed. A worldwide epidemic. Many millions of Americans may become infected. There is no proven medical way to stop this coronavirus. Coast to coast, the economy is in critical condition. Bills have not stopped coming, though the paychecks in some cases have. 30 million Americans have filed for unemployment. Chinatown is a ghost town. Asian Americans are facing discrimination over a disease that does not discriminate. A 91-year-old man knocked to the ground. Battling a backlash of racial bias. Kung flu, the Chinese virus, COVID-19. It's not racist at all. There is nothing normal about this summer in Chinatown. San Francisco's Chinatown is on life support. The virus, in combination with a virulent strain of anti-Asian sentiment, has left its streets empty and its storefronts shuttered. We feel like we're in quicksand. Eva Lee with the Chinatown Merchants Association says Grant Avenue, the backbone of Chinatown's commercial district, has been paralyzed by the pandemic. Fewer than 50 of its roughly 200 restaurants and stores remain open. After all this is over, unfortunately, there's going to be a shakeup. There's some that are going to be able to weather it through and some that are not. What fortunes will this new year, the year of the ox, bring? How will Chinatown recover? Will it manage somehow to emerge stronger or more likely scarred and scared and weaker than it was pre-pandemic? To know for sure, you'd need to be a fortune teller or at least a fortune cookie factory owner. We locked up for almost a year and a half now, coming off, right? And we got a life to live. Kevin Chan's family has been making fortune cookies for nearly 60 years, dispensing bite-sized encouragements like we must overcome difficulties rather than being overcome by them. It's time, he says, that Chinatown take its own advice to heart. We don't see the future. Last year, we all depressed because we don't know what to do. But right now we see the, the, the shots coming out and we have a chance, better chance. By tradition, every lion costume has a mirror embedded in the forehead. According to legend, the monster was ultimately defeated when it saw its own reflection and was scared off. It is also possible that the inverse is true, that Chinatown can search its reflection and instead find resilience and reserves of strength it will desperately need to make a full recovery. The city has pitched in to help. They've created a rescue fund. It offers money and of equal importance, time. Time for Chinatown businesses that might be teetering on the brink of insolvency. The hope is that it buys them enough time to make it to the summer and hopefully to the other side of the pandemic. 